Hello, nice to see you again. Yes, we're pleased to be here. 今天是第五十三课第一讲，在这一讲里边，我们要学习第五十三课课文 ，Computerized Supermarket， 电脑化超级市场。Computerized supermarket. Technology has come to the marketplace. In many U.S. stores, the cash register has been replaced by a computer that quickly and easily calculates the cost of items being bought. Back in the early 1960s. When the laser was first being developed, it was viewed by some as a fascinating research tool; others called it a science fiction toy. Since that time, the laser has proved to be an instrument of many uses. In fact, in many places, it's becoming a part of everyday life. Take, for example, what's happening at some supermarkets. Food shopping Americans are coming face to face with lasers and computers for the first time, but they are hardly aware of it until they get to the checkout line. With scarcely a glance at the items. The clerk sweeps them across an aperture, where a special marking on each item is scanned by a low-powered laser beam inside the machine, connected to a remote computer. It started a few years ago. When food processors agreed, the time had come to put code markings on every one of their thousands of food products. This would make them instantly identifiable to a computer. The scanning laser beam was an ideal device for reading these markings, and so. The universal product code was born. Practically every package today, every can and bottle has these unique symbols. Gone is the time-consuming stamping of prices on each item. Prices are shown on the shelf. This new technology. Promises to keep food products moving smoothly on and off supermarket shelves, which will help keep overheads down and prices stable. At the end of each business day, the remotely located computer gives the store manager a total picture of the day's transactions. As for the customer, the most dramatic change is the way checkout lines keep moving. Since the cashier no longer has to worry about the trying business of punching in each item, the groceries are scanned and bagged rapidly. For the first time, the customer can see the transaction recorded. And get a receipt on which every item he or she has picked out is printed by brand name, its price, even the time of purchase. And what's more, even the computer doesn't forget to say thank you, and it doesn't mind saying it repetitively. Let's begin with what the shopper sees first: the universal product code, UPC symbol. The UPC is printed by the manufacturer 
on each grocery item a set of thin and thick vertical stripes accompanied by a series of numbers under the stripes and a zero centered to the left of them. The zero tells the computer which is the left side of the symbol. The first five digits of the other numbers designate the manufacturer and the second series of digits identifies the particular item. Since few shoppers know what the UPC means, there is a sign on the shelf giving the name of the product, its weight and its price. In an ordinary supermarket, it is preferable to keep the items of one kind altogether. With computer-assisted checkout, keeping items of one kind together is no longer necessary. The shopper only needs to place all the items on the conveyor belt at the checkout counter. The computer will automatically keep track of the number of items and their price. As the grocery items move along the conveyor belt, the checker passes each item over a glass plate in the counter top, making sure that the UPC symbols can be read by the laser beam under the glass. Within seconds, a small display unit on the checker's right shows the name and price of the item. At the same time, this information is printed on a strip of paper. This strip of paper will eventually list everything that the shopper has bought, what each item costs, the total price, the tax, how much money the shopper gave the checker, whether it was cash or a cheque, and the amount of change the shopper is to receive. For shoppers, one of the principal advantages of the computer-assisted system is the detailed receipt that they receive. Complete information is given, brand, type of item, and price. 下面就请大家来回答一些有关课文的问题。Question one: When did laser come into being? When did laser come into being? It came into being in the early 1960s. Question two: How did people take it then? How did people take it then? It was seen by some as a fascinating research tool. And by others as a science fiction toy. Question three: What is the use of the low-powered laser beam fixed inside a machine on the checkout point in the supermarket? What is the use of the low-powered laser beam fixed inside a machine on the checkout point? In the supermarket, it is used to read special code markings on the packages of food. Question four: Will the readings be immediately fed into a computer? Will the readings be immediately fed into a computer? 
Yes, they will. Question 5. What will the computer do then? What will the computer do then? It will in turn feed back the transaction details in a matter of seconds. Question 6. Who started the idea of UPC? Who started the idea of UPC? It was the food processors who started the idea of UPC. Question 7. What does the UPC stand for? What does it look like? What does the UPC stand for? What does it look like? It stands for Universal Product Code. UPC is a set of thin and thick vertical stripes accompanied by a series of numbers under the stripes and a zero centred to the left of them. Question 8. What does the series of numbers under the stripes stand for? What does the series of numbers under the stripes stand for? The first five digits of the numbers stand for the manufacturer while the second series is the number for a particular item. Question 9. In what way does the computer-assisted checkout help the shoppers save time? In what way does the computer-assisted checkout help the shoppers save time? The shopper in the computerised market will simply put the items on the conveyor belt and a computer printout will immediately occur, telling you the details of the transaction. Question 10. In what way does the computer-assisted checkout help the stores? In what way does the computer-assisted checkout help the stores? It helps keep the overheads down and prices stable. It also gives the store manager a total picture of the day's transactions. 如果大家能把以上这些问题都回答出来了，我想对课文的内容也就掌握了。好，下面我们再来看一下课文中的一些疑难点。好,先请大家一起来和我们看一下课文第一段中的一句话 In many US stores, the cash register has been replaced by a computer 这句话的中文意思是,在美国许多家大商店里,现金出纳机已被电脑所取代 Register, 
意思是自动记录器 ，cash register， 现金记录器，也就是现金出纳机。register 这个字，除了课文中的这个意思以外，还有几种其他更常见的用法，比如 ，this department established a register of graduated。Students. 这个系为毕业生建立了花名册。Register 在这儿当名词用，是花名册的意思。Did the teacher call the register? 老师点名了吗 ？Register 在这儿也当名词用，意思是名单。Call the register, 是点名的意思。You must keep a register of your name and address if you want to enter this building. 如果你要进这栋大楼，必须登记姓名和地址。Register 在这句中也用作名词。意思是登记。Keep a register of your name and address. 意思是登记姓名和地址。Every family has a household register in China. 中国家家户户都有一个户口本。Register 在这儿也当名词用。意思是，登记簿 ，household register， 也就是户口本的意思。The trademark is registered on the book of the patent office. 这商标已在专利局登记入册。Register 在这句里边做动词用，意思是。登记、注册。从以上几个例句中，我们可以看出 ，register 既可以当名词用，基本意思是名册、名单、登记、登记簿；它也可以当动词用，基本意思是登记或者注册。register 还有其他一些用法，请大家在阅读过程中。留心记忆。好，接着我们再来看一下课文第二段中的一句话。The laser has proved to be an instrument of many uses. 这句话的中文意思是，激光已被证明是有多种用途的工具。Proof， 意思是。证明，证明是，它既可当及物动词，又可以当不及物动词使用。现在我们来看一下它的一些基本用法。The plan proved an abortion. 该计划已告失败。Prove 后面可以直接加名词。They proved that she was innocent. 他们证明她是无罪的。Proof 后面可以加 that 从句。Time would prove me right. 时间将会证明我是对的。Proof. 后面可以加上宾语，再加上宾语补语。学完 proof 的几种基本用法后，接着我们再来看一下课文第三段中的一句话 ：Gone is the time-consuming stamping of prices on each item. 这句话的中文意思是
，往每件商品上打价格的 face 劳动从此结束了。这是一个主谓倒装句，倒装的原因是因为主语太长，避免头重脚轻。我们来看一些相似的例句。Spring is coming, and with it will come the soft winds that are good for flying kites. 春天来临，随之春风徐来，很适于放风筝。On one wall hung some photographs of Lao Li and his family. And friends. 一面墙上挂着几张老李和家属及朋友的照片。英语中有许多形式的倒装句，一定要引起我们的重视。好，最后我们再来看一下第四段中的一句话。This new technology. Promises to keep food products moving smoothly on and off supermarket shelves, which will keep overheads down. 这句话的中文意思是：这种新技术渴望使超级市场里的食品顺利的上下货架，这将会降低管理费用。Overhead 意思是企业管理费，它常以复数形式出现。请看例句。There were too many overheads. 日常开支太大。Computers are used in the supermarkets to reduce overheads. 超级市场使用电脑来削减管理费。That's all for this lesson, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Bye bye.